Hey, welcome back to Uncork with Shannon and Tara. Today we're trying nope. a Urban different type of wine. Yes, so this is Urban Vines Cotton Candy Wine, and it is sold out pretty much everywhere. Um, so Urban Vines is the, like this winery and brewery in the middle of Indiana, Westfield, Indiana, and they come out with cotton candy wine and it sells out within like a couple hours. Um, I bought this on Black Friday. I set an alarm for 10 a.m. That's when it went on sale, and ta-da, we've got it. Think, oh boy. Oh, Woo! We have light. Light. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Um, yeah, so cotton candy wine. It sells out super fast. You've got to set an alarm for it. Um, I mean, the bottle's super cute. It tastes like cotton candy, and it's called Carnival Candy. I mean, that's adorable. If you see can it. see it. Ah, it's it's got a glare. Oh no. Why is the wine not blue or pink? It, it is, is. It's kind of pink. It's pinkish. The label is. Yeah. But I don't know. So it so anyway, they've got wines like peanut butter and jelly wine, um, mm. black magic, whatever that is, lollipop. Um, they're all sold out. You can only buy them, I think, in liquor stores in Indiana at this point. When they uh, go for sale online, you've got to jump. Not even Total Wine. Not even <laughs> Total Wine has these. Only liquor stores in Indiana. Oh. So, Black Friday, I set an alarm for 10 a.m. and I got the cotton candy wine. Very excited. I love cotton candy. Three. It was um, you had to buy three dot three bottles for fifteen dollars shipping. Three bottles was the minimum. They're all like eighteen dollars though. Oh, so that's not, not a bad mm. price for that, no. honestly. No, I got... Ooh, check the wine on the stove. Shoot. Oh, no. Forgot you about wine that. wine on the stove? Did you tell anybody about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so... Take two. Like <laughs> Woo! Anyway, Carnival Candy Wine. Um, it tastes like cotton candy. It's... A grape from the Great Lakes region, and they use a slow fermentation to get the color of cotton candy. Oh, kind of. It's like a golden, but maybe in the glass it's different. Yeah, I like that. It looks gold in the bottle. How did you hear about this winery? So someone, a couple people tagged me in it. Oh, nice. Yeah, they Thank were like, "Thank you guys for tagging." Thanks for tags. We like tags. Yes, yeah, we really do. I don't care what you say. That's a yellow one. It is yellowish. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Is there Concord grapes in that? It does not say. Um, it's 11% alcohol volume. It just says grape wine with natural cotton candy flavor. Honestly okay. sounds like something we'd make from our bruzy box wine. Yes, yeah, no, which was not bad. It <laughs> not bad. smells like Concord grapes. It does sound, smell that's like... What, yeah, that's what yeah. I thought exactly. Um, they no legs. They, no. Um... They have tons of wine and beer at their place in Indiana. Um, I looked at their menu, it looks great. Wow. Does it taste like cotton candy? Wow. Try that. Ooh. So. Oh I'm, my God. Before we even get into like how close to cotton candy this tastes. Yeah. Um, I had to say that as unique as this wine seems, Shannon and I actually tried a few of these very similar wines when we went to the Poconos. So, mm, really? While the we didn't have cotton candy wine. It, we didn't have cotton candy wine. However, the flavor of this is almost identical to that of what we had near the Poconos. Yeah, Poconos did a lot of Concord grapes. Mm. Yes. That's why, like, I smelt it and I was like, mm, I wonder if it's a Concord grape. Which I feel like that's very weird, but mm, no, I don't. I think that's a good pickup, and I do think Concord can grow in the Great Lakes region. Oh, okay. Like that's like the New York Great Lakes, so yeah, mm -hmm. Concord's good. good yeah, in there. and Poconos isn't that far away. <sighs> I love good. this. Could easily drink the whole bottle. No regrets. Mm -hmm. no, Not one letter. No regrets. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. <laughs> Such a good quote. Mm. I think I like the taste. I don't really like the smell. It, it kind of, I don't know how to, like, I can smell the certain grape, and but 
the smell to me is not, I don't know how to, like, really describe it. Yeah, so, since this wine is kind of exclusive and they only sell it online every so often, there's not a lot of reviews out there. Someone did say it smells like burnt rubber. No, it's not that bad. No, I can see that. I don't think it's burnt rubber. I think it's, like medicine type mm, yeah burnt I rubber is like Robitussin. can't breathe yeah i don't get any burnt rubber no there but, might be like a kind of a sweet medicine thing to it yeah. but then you drink it and it, you forget yeah. it's yes it's pretty good it's really I good 100 this the taste is way better than the smell yeah it smells good taste is good the aftertaste eh. i don't get I don't, an aftertaste yeah i didn't get an aftertaste i mm, I love cotton candy. Ooh. This is good. It's very sweet, so if you like dry wines, it's not for you. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. But it's cotton candy, so it's cotton candy. Don't expect it to be dry. Yeah. If you're a dry wine drinker, don't get cotton candy wine. So I'm curious, what do you pair this with? Ooh, that's a good question. Cotton candy. <laughs> Can you really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be too much. No. How, so you were on at 10 a.m., how fast did this sell out? So, I think, I think a friend of mine went to try to buy it by noon and it was gone. Okay. So, at least two hour time span. But, it could have been sooner. I was torn because I was like, eh, not PB&J. I almost got the lollipop, but I ended up going for two bottles of this, which I'm very glad I did. Nice. Yeah, it was yeah. a good decision. So they only, once again, they only offered three bottles? PB you could buy, no, you could buy, like, you could buy as many as you wanted, but it was like $3 for $15 sh flat shipping, six bottles, I think, got you $10, and then more got you less shipping. So the more bottles you bought, the less shipping was, but, so I got two bottles of cotton candy and one bottle of what we'll try next, Santa sauce. Um, so, very um, how many... Santa sauce. How many different flavors do they have? Though? Oh my gosh, they had like, well they have a lot like of normal normal flavored wines. Like they had like a rosé and like a peach Ooh. chardonnay and like other things. But they're like limited flavors. I think there's like six. It's lollipop, PB&J, carnival candy, black magic, and then there's two other ones that I can't remember. Okay. Um, so a good assortment it sounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they sell out super fast. Um, like. I, I feel like I've seen this before on my feed and somebody has said like, I'm setting my alarm, I'm gonna buy this kind. Don't know if they did, but I did. Would and this be a winery that you would go visit? I would love to visit them. Because Is it very like picturesque? Yeah, it's like oh. a farmhouse sea vibe. Well, I'm down. Yeah, so if we're ever in Indiana, we're about to go on the road. We're to go try we're Urban Vines. <laughs> Finger Lakes, um, we already been to Charlottesville. Yeah. Poconos. I want to go to Finger Lakes so bad. Mm hmm. But I give cotton candy like A. Plus. Good job. Yeah, I definitely think this is a good wine. This is liquid cotton candy. Yeah. It's definitely unique. It's different. I liked it. Yeah. I can't think of anything else this tastes like. I mean, you got. You guys said it, you tasted something similar, but... Something similar. I don't know if I fully got cotton candy, like, when I was drinking it, but definitely something similar. Okay. All right. Well, good job. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to set my alarm next time I go <laughs> sale, because I want more. Now, is this an everyday thing you go in and check, or is this just, like... I don't know. Spread. I don't know when they put this for sale. Somebody tagged me and said it was going for sale on Black Friday. I don't know when they'll oh. go on sale next. It just the website just says sold out. I don't know if there's a mailing list you can subscribe to. Oh gosh. I'm, I'm sure there is a mailing list. There's gotta be like some kind of yeah. like twenty four hour notice, like, hey, we're gonna drop this tomorrow online if you wanna buy three bottles, like Go for it. So, so for, for, for a flavor you're feeling, check every morning, essentially. Mm. Yeah. If you want cotton candy wine, I would check every day. Because it's really good. It's very good. I approve. Oh, it's, uh, it's got the uncorked seal of approval. <laughs> so, we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs>